Hey guys, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA. It's fun back at you again with another quick tip. We had a question that came in recently regarding how to automatically highlight text uh, in a text box on a user form. So let's go ahead and uh, open up this user form, take a look at the, how it normally responds. So if I double click on a word, uh, I, I'd actually have to click three times the normal way. And if you wanted to highlight everything as soon as uh, that is selected, there's a couple ways to go about that. The first thing uh, you might want to know is if I hit tab, I'm hitting the tab key, that's a default. That's a given. It's going to highlight all the text for you. But some people want it to be that even if they click anywhere on that text box, they want it to highlight everything. So we're going to explore some different programmatic ways to do that. It's really easy. This will just take a minute to show you. So I'm going to exit out of the user form, and in Alt F11, which is the Visual Basic Editor here, I'm going to show you how to do that a couple different ways. Um, it all stems from the same code. So if you have a, a, a text box, let's double click on the text box 1. Not a very creative name, but it's easy to manage for right now. So if you double click on the text box 1, it automatically brings up this change event. We don't really necessarily want the change event. Uh, so the main thing that we're going to try right now is we're going to go here and go to the mouse down event. And I can even remove the change event. It doesn't matter. The thing that we're going to show you here in the mouse down event is that we need to figure out uh, where the cursor is to start at. Uh, to start the selection at the zero point, at the very, very uh, leftmost point. And then the second part of the code that matters is actually determining the length of what is selected. So let's show you how to do that. First of all, I'm going to type the word me because me represents whatever your current container is, in this case, user form one. So me dot, I could have just as easily typed user form one dot text box one. So I'm going to hit tab to autocomplete. And here's the kicker. So I'm going to do first of all dot cell start that's the start of the selection and I'm gonna say equals zero and that means we're gonna start at the very leftmost character now how about how long is my selection need to be well me dot text box one dot cell length so tab so the selected length is going to be equal to however long the length of the actual text box is so if the length of the text box is 14 characters then the cell length needs to be 14. Select it all, all 14 characters. Well, how do we dynamically do that? Why? Let's use the len, the length function. And so if we use the len function on me dot text box one, uh, you could do dot text. I'm just going to leave it alone because it knows to uh, grab whatever the length of however many characters are in that text box. So it's actually referring to the length of the number of characters that are in itself. So if I hit F8, uh, let's explore that. I'm going to click away and now I'm going to click here. So now we're kind of stepping through the code. Just so we can show you. The selection start right now, the cell start is on 18, which means I clicked way over here and it's like the 18th character is where the selection is. So let's make it to zero, all the way to the left. So I'm going to hit F8. You can't visibly see that, but it knows now that we're starting all the way from the left. And the length of the selection currently is zero, but we want it to be, uh, see the text in there is click to highlight. And if you hover over the len of that, it says it's 18 characters long. So we want the selected length, the cell length, to be equal to 18 or the length of whatever's in there. So it's 18. And if I hit F8, to complete and select, uh, well, it's because I'm stepping through. I'm going to hit F5. So you see there, it automatically highlighted the full thing, even though I clicked some random area in there. So that's the first step, is you could use that code and put it in the mouse, uh, mouse move event of all of these, or the mouse down. Now, the other thing you could do is what if... Uh, you wanted to programmatically do that perhaps when the user form opens or if you click on a button or something other than just you know selecting and clicking the mouse down event so let's show you the other thing that you could do and it's just an expansion of what you already know from what you just learned so I'm gonna first of all I'm going to create a button that does the same thing so I'm simply going to highlight my text control C and click into my command button and control V to paste so Here's what I want to do. 
I want to do the same thing. I want the selection start to be zero at the very left. And I want to get however number, uh, number of characters that are in there and make that the selection length. But the next thing I want to do is simply take me.textbox1.setFocus tab. So that means that it's going to automatically focus on uh, textbox1 and make that the active control. And that's really all you have to do. So let's try that out too. All right, so let's say I click on text box three. When I click my button, it's going to do those other two things, but it's also going to set the focus to uh, the first control. So you see how simple that was? I click the button, and it sets focus on what I already did. I highlighted everything. So the last and final thing I'll show you is I'm going to copy and paste those three lines of code. And you may be asking, well, what if I want to select, you know, let's say text box two, uh, randomly whenever the user form opens. Well that, if you're not familiar, let's double click here, is called the user form initialize event. This user form initialize event occurs uh, whenever the user form opens. So anything you run here will happen every time you open the user form from scratch. So let's po uh, paste what we have in the clipboard and I'm simply going to change every instance of text box to or excuse me, every instance of text box one to text box two, or whatever you have named your other text box. So this time, whenever the user form opens, it's actually going to do number two and do all those same things, including selecting uh, that as the active control. So let's hit uh, F5 or click the Run button, and it actually opened up the user form with the second text box completely highlighted for us. All right, that does it for today's quick tip. And don't forget to click like and subscribe if this helped you in any way. And uh, please be sure to leave any comments if you perhaps have a better way of approaching this or a different way to do that. Or if you have any questions, please feel free to leave those comments below. We'll see you in the next video.